Hey you folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to some Let's Play Plague Inc. Evolved. I want to give a shout out to Cade514 over on Twitter for today's idea. I'm going to go into the main game over here and we're going to pick the Nurax Worm. Uh, and I still haven't unlocked absolutely everything, but we're going to give a th playthrough on the Nurax Worm on uh, standard difficulty over here. And, uh, ooh, we've unlocked a new trait. Let's see, I've got the ATP boost right now. Get some bonus DNA right from the beginning. Darwinist is interesting because it increases the chance of your plague mutating, which can be bad if it happens too early, but late in game it's quite nice. But as a bonus, we're also going to combo that with the ionized helix, which you do get early on. Bonus DNA with devolving, that's a nice little combo there. Got the zero file that gives us a or give our plague a bonus in arid climates, or hydrophile, which gives us a bonus in humid climates. Um, you know what, I'm going to try the hydrophile for this one, I think. And then I haven't unlocked anything yet for the uh, the travel genes, which is too bad, but that's all right. So we're going to hit continue. We're going to stay on uh, normal difficulty because we're still figuring out a lot about the game. And we are going to call this this mental virus, this mind affecting virus that is incorrectly spelled a third time hype. It is going to be hype and we are going to try to spread through all of humanity. But unlike what we're going to try to do normally and let's have the hype come out of um, you know, we're going to we're going to mix it up a little. We're going to go and start the hype in Brazil. I think that's going to be a fun place to start the hype. So we're going to go ahead and infect there first. We'll get a little bit of a pop up here telling us hype begins in Brazil. Infected his first human, weak and used to hot temperatures. It must evolve using DNA to infect more people. And we should get one more uh, pop up explaining the Nurax virus. Nurax. The Nurax worm emerges. Hype is a Norax worm, undiscovered for thousands of years. Now humans have entered its natural habitat and given it the means to spread. So what's cool about Hype, about the Norax virus, is that the possible mutations are quite different from what you'd be used to from playing the bacteria virus or spore. So the uh, transmissions options are wildly different. The symptom screen is wildly different. Uh, the abilities is mostly the same. Uh, again, we've got our climate sort of controls over here and then drug resistance and DNA things and, and whatnot. And then the special ability here is Trojan Planes. So the whole thing is we're an organism, organism that tries to control human brains. So our ability is to convince the, the host, the things that our virus is living in, to get on a plane and fly to another country. And what's cool about this, this works even when air airports are closed and in fact even lets you fly places that don't have airports whatsoever. Kind of a cool little ability and there's gonna be more to see there. Then the transmission is quite different as well. Um, not your normal sort of vectors that you can have. So we've got a couple of different options here. The Concertina Locomotion, ability to grip with portions of the body while pulling, pushing other sections, allows faster movement outside host, increasing infectivity. So our little worm can crawl around a little bit more. We've got eggs. The Norax worm produces eggs that are ejected from the host brain in the thousands, increasing infectiousness. And finally, genetic swap able to exchange genetic material inside host body, increasing chance of mutation. So we're going to avoid this one for now because more muta mutations would mean more symptoms, although we could devolve them to actually get some points. It's interesting here, the only, uh, the only symptom we can do right now is neural breach. Breach the blood-brain barrier to allow access to the host brain. Causes dystonia, rapid eye blinking. Increases infectivity a tiny bit, but not a whole lot. So we're actually we're going to start off with the, uh, the climate stuff as well. And we already have a bonus to uh, heat resistance because we start, start in a uh, uh, hot climate, but we'll go ahead and pick that up. Or maybe we should start with eggs. Now, what's interesting about all these transmissions options is that they do actually increase severity, which increases the chance of detection. Let me go and grab the heat first, and we'll wait to grab some eggs after that. We'll set it to medium speed to get started and just wait a little bit here. Two people in Brazil, three. Still on three. Got a few extra DNA points. Five people, there we go. So we're getting a little bit of growth, not too fast. Seven, actually that's not bad at all. Wow, that's really not too shabby. So Brazil is rural, um, humid, and hot. Now we do have the bonus humidity spreading because of our, uh, our DNA, our genes that we spliced in at the beginning of the game. So that's pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get ourselves some eggs. Again, we might become noticed when that happens, but it's just a cost that we have to accept. So now we can have our eggs spread to birds. And I like how the descriptions changes. So we are a, a worm, so worms become a food source for birds, but many survived in the digestive tract, allowing increased transmission, still over land probably. Uh, then worms attach themselves to insects, increased infectiousness, especially in hot climates. Well, we are in a hot area, so it might be a good idea. And then fur of rats, especially in urban environments. We can also go up to eggs level two. 
Uh, eggs hatch when they experience an increase in warmth, likely due to nearby activity, human activity, greatly increasing infection, but it also increases uh, severity. In fact, all of these will affect severity, so we'll probably get noticed relatively quick. Um, still, I think it's probably a good idea to pick those up. We could also grab Constantine Locomotion, which actually increases infectivity quite a bit, although that severity really does get noticeable. Still, we'll go ahead and pick that up, and we can grab the level 2 Undulatory. Again, a lot more infectivity, but a lot more severity as well. In fact, we might want to grab level 2 eggs. It's almost as infectious, not quite as severe, less likely to become noticed. All right, let's let that go for now and see what we can do. University debate controversy. Huge controversy erupts over university debate on whether it is fair for parents living off state benefits to give birth to children which they can't support. Ooh, that is controversial. My god, game. Let's not be too serious over here. Millions of pre-orders for the latest smartphone. See that? That's the kind of hype we're talking about. Hype for new games, hype for new devices. I almost call this E3 hype, but then I probably would have started in the, UN, the, UN, uh, the US, and that probably would have been a little bit harder, because as a rich nation, they have better antibiotics and things. It's a lot harder to spread there. On the other hand, taking out a rich nation early is good. Ooh, global warming. Cold countries getting colder. All right, that will make it a little bit harder. We'll have to make sure to evolve the cold defense, uh, well, definitely at some point, because... Um, we are naturally warm oriented, so we will need the cold defense. But for now, we can keep spreading in, uh, in relatively warm countries. Tell you what, we'll go ahead and grab the bird, which is always good, and the mosquito, which is good in hot climates. So we'll do that. But the severity is going up. We'll get noticed at some point, especially as we uh, we increase the amount of infected. But the rate's going up. Oh, we've spread. We spread to uh, Peru. No. What did we spread to? Bolivia. Ah, it's hard to tell where the little bubble was. Ships use new sterilizing cleaning techniques. Oh my god, this is going to be a hard game. New cleaning techniques are now being used to stop ship transmitting any disease between countries. Only advanced waterborne diseases can survive in them. So we're clearly going to have to go and level up the undulary, undulatory locomotion because that's how we gain access to the air and uh, water mutations, as you can see here. So again, the noticeability is going up a bit, but it also increases the infectiveness. So we're going to cross our fingers that we're able to go there. What do we need for this? 13 points. So we'll do that to at least unlock the ability to spread via ship again, even though we'll still be, uh, we'll still be slowed down by quite a bit. Now, there we go. More spreads. Good. Give me that. Give me the water spreading to get on ships. Now, at this point, the severity is getting quite high. So luckily, what we can do is we can actually start to decrease that using some of these symptoms. You'll notice the symptom doesn't actually increase severity at all. It increases infectivity a little bit, but that's it. Only costs one point. So yeah, let's breach the blood brain barrier. We'll only have one option after that. The cerebral tendrils, again, doesn't increase severity at all. So that's good. So we'll work on that once we get a, well, two more points, literally. Upgrade lets ships be infected again. Fantastic. Still don't have a huge infection base, but what can we do? I think we're in Peru now. Yeah, all right. And that gives us enough points for the cerebral tendrils. Uh, tendril production in the cerebral cavities begins, enables increased control over host brain. Now we get our first major split in activity. If we keep going north, this is going to... Um, so tendrils mesh with frontal lobe, conscious thought center, and gain ability to mentally manipulate hosts. That's quite nice. Over here, we get ad adrenerg adrenergic constriction. Beta receptor blockers release damping anxiety in the host and lessening severity of allergic reactions to the worm. You'll notice the severity over here. This is our current severity. If I click there, it actually brings it down. It makes people less freaked out about this disease. Um, that brings it up. That keeps it about the same. This will actually make people care less about the worms. I mean, there it's because they get less of an allergic reaction, so they're less likely to... Um, Expert warns invisible horse riding can cause hair loss. Gamers worldwide begin worshipping Helix Fossil. Mankini, not funny. Dictator demands a solar eclipse on his birthday. We're soon going to start seeing more and more of these sort of mental effects go on. How much do I actually need for this? Three points, okay. I want to grab that as soon as possible just to try to reduce the chance that we'll be noticed. Hey, we spread to Australia. Wonderful. Go ahead and grab that. Very nice. So what's the next step here? Axiolytic infusion. Mass synthesis of neurotransmitter gamma immunobutric acid significantly reduces anxiety in the host and minimizes severity of reactions. Five points will decrease severity further. Well, let's do that. We want to be as stealthy as possible. That is going to be our goal. What's well, always our goal, but we're doing it through slightly different means than usual. 
Infection, infected count still goes up. In fact, our ships are still going out, so that's quite nice. So there we go. We'll spread there and there. That'll give us enough to unlock this. Decrease severity a little bit more. Next step, psychosis. Tendrils tweak dop dopamine receptors, including inducing occasional states of psychosis and personality shifts to better accommodate the worm. And again, decreases severity. Well, I'm definitely going to go for that. How much was it? Seven points. I'm going to go for that. And then what we'll probably do is grab the Trojan planes because they're awfully fun. Look at that. Went pretty well. It feels like we've already got Trojan planes. Minor disease. Okay, so they become aware of it. New disease named Hype appears to be mostly harmless, but must be investigated further. No, no, it doesn't have to be investigated at all. We're going to invoke some psychosis, make people chill out a bit more. Options we can do despair, which dramatically increases severity, a little bit of lethality. Altered serotonin levels impact mood regulations, induce feelings of despair in the host, and lessen self-preservation instinct. No, no, no. All right, both of these would actually uh, increase them. But what's interesting is adoration. Surges of, te of testosterone and estrogen hijack host emotions and create desire to spread infection. Let's just keep that in mind because that is going to be our, our victory t uh, condition. We're going to head down that particular route because we're not looking to kill all humans this time around. No, no, no. We are making them love us, worship us, obey us. That is our goal. How much do I need for the Trojan planes? Oh, I can start that right away. Let's go ahead and unlock that. Uh, you know what? We'll probably need some uh, cold resistance. We'll probably want double cold resistance before we start sending planes places. So never mind. Let's hold up on that. Boom, boom. Kick it back up to medium speed. More boats. Both those places were already infected. Ooh, nicely spread on its own to the Middle East. Higgs boson found behind sofa. Owner baffled. I love the headlines. Democracy decides all humans are equal. Oh, isn't that nice? Tensions in Ukraine reach critical levels. Huh. Who would have thought? CDC releases Solve the Outbreak Education iPad app. Uh, that's not good. Hype. Just another parasite. Scientists tell public not to worry about hype. Although unpleasant, it does not appear to cause any symptoms in humans and will be easily cured. I love the messages when you're playing with the uh, Neurox parasite. Neurox worm. Uh, let's get a little bit of cold in there. It's going to be good. Although we'll also probably want some... Um, uh, Antibiotic resistance to survive in rich nations like the US a little bit better. Oh, now we're spreading like crazy. Nice little boost of points. You know what? We'll go ahead and grab uh, the uh, drug resistance at this point. Oh, no, we'll grab the Trojan planes now. In fact, we'll grab two bits of it just so that they come a little bit more frequently. We'll start. There we go. We got our first plane. We click on this and then we click on the target country. Uh, let's, you know what? Let's go ahead and spread to Madagascar. No one's infected over there. We're going to make sure to get Madagascar right away because obviously that's the key to victory. Right? Boom! We auto-spread to the country. And actually by quite a bit. Quite a bit of people were on that plane. Brazil starts working on a cure. First to instruct doctors to become research into a cure for hype. Without greater funding, it's expected to take a long time. Well, that won't do at all. We're going to have to do something about that. Uh, let's go ahead and grab one level of drug resistance, though, because it is a very good idea. It should help us spread in the U.S., it's going very slowly, but it is ticking up a little bit now. And we're going to be sending our plane to more and more places. We'll have to send maybe to Russia next. We have one level of cold resistance. Let's uh, let's give that a try. It may not be quite enough to spread, though. Oh, I should have done India, actually, because we're naturally adapted to warm, moist climate, which India has. So it'd probably do a better job over there, actually. We'll try that next. There you go. Just spread. I think that was to Mexico, probably. There we go. We've got another plane we can send from South Africa. We'll send it to India. It should spread relatively quickly there. It is doing a pretty good job of spreading on its own anyway. That increases severity. But we might still want adoration. Increases infectivity, which is quite handy. Uh, anything else we might want to do? Uh, level 1 air? Maybe. We can also do genetic swap, get some free mutations. And at this point, it might not be a terrible idea to start triggering that, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll see if we can't get some free mutations out of all of this. Now, there's two more plane levels here. We can go north, which increases tro its Trojan destroyers. Testosterone secretion in Trojan horse cause destructive and aggressive behavior in target country. Actually helps you kill people. Or we can do roamers, 
cause them to travel more, increasing infectivity in target country. We'll do that. We'll probably want to grab the level 3 Trojan planes, actually. Because even when you've infected all the countries, you can still send the planes to increase the number of infected somewhere, especially with the roamers. So we're going to try to take advantage of that. So, yeah, we are explicitly mind-controlling people so that they go to countries... And start behaving in a way that will increase the spread. It looks like we actually spread there, spread the China automatically. Uh, we'll have to check the other island nations. And especially get a, maybe a little bit more cold protection. We'll get the level 2 cold because, again, cold places are colder. So the level 2 cold, we'll go to Iceland. It's got a port and an airport, so it should be able to send some people out relatively commonly as well. We've got a huge earthquake in Norway. Oh, that's fantastic because that's going to slow things down. Less research is available. Confusion symptom has mutated automatically. Is that one we want to keep? Dopamine production and, and dopamine production stimulated to cause bouts of confusion in the host. Harder to concentrate on complex work. All right, well that might help us. We can do memory loss, the frontal mesh, ability to mentally manipulate host. We might go straight up that way. We could also do a few more mutations. You know what? I'm going to do adoration. Yeah. Spread infection a little bit better, or actually we can grab the level 3 plane, which doesn't increase severity quite as much. Let me go and do that. We'll get more planes, and they should be more effective. There we go, there's another one. Let's send you to, let's take the isolated nations first. We've got double cold, so it should do okay in uh, Iceland and Greenland. There we go. And then maybe we'll do something like Sweden and Norway. Disturbing reports of hype. Scientists prove that hype could theoretically manipulate human thoughts to its advantage. More research is needed. Well, that's clearly lies. There's no way that humans could be vulnerable to something like that, right? Should we do the roamers? Possibly. And you know what? I'm going to grab rodents as well. Just because a lot of the rich places... Oh, we'll send you to Canada just to get it done. A lot of the rich places are relatively urban. And again, we want to target them pretty heavily. Disturbing reports of hype. Mm. And Zimbabwe has started the cure research. Should be still relatively slow. No potential has not quite been met yet. Graph is still very, very low. Should be doing okay. We want humans to worship us. Hype place on watch list. Ooh. No, that, that won't do at all. There we go. What still needs to be infected. Um, I don't know. Let's say, I think Sweden. Yeah, Sweden's still clear. Boom. And then we'll maybe do Finland next. Canada. This is spreading slowly there, but it is going. Um, the cure is being researched. You know what? I'm going to grab one level of genetic hardening right now just to slow that down. Just a wee bit. Even though it's still early. You went to Finland. Oh! Auto spread there. But... The plane load of people will add a few more people, so that's not terrible. U.S. has shut down airports. Ooh, hoping to limit the spread of hype. Yeah, there's still not a whole lot of people infected in the U.S. We're really going to have to do something about that. Um, you know what? We haven't done any air yet. Let's go ahead and do that. And then uh, more free mut mutations. And then, yeah, we'll probably kick in adoration. At that point, our severity is already high enough. People are freaking out. Let's send more people to the U.S. Norway begins to break down. Normal life in Norway is beginning to break down due to hype. Cure research is starting to slow. Really? Norway? Only 46 people are infected. But if you get the right people infected, maybe. That's all it takes. We've got lots of points going on now. Let's pick up Adoration. Followed by Devotion. Ooh. Increases severity dramatically. Does make it harder to cure, but not so much on the infection. Let's go and grab the frontal mesh upgrade. Increases infectivity a little. Doesn't do anything for severity. And I'm hoping unlocks some more interesting stuff. Immaturity. Hormone production altered, which causes reduction in maturity. Lower levels of hygiene increase infection. All right. We can do perceptive jolt. Tendrils increase brain pressure, resulting in fever, which disrupts host priorities and decision making. Mm, not so much. Let's go for, um, let, let's save a few points and we'll grab, um, sure, more infectivity from our planes, actually. That'll be okay. Cure research is starting to kick up a little. 
Oh, Japan is leading the effort. So you know what? We're going to target Japan with all of our planes. Because once we start killing people, we want to shut down Japan as hard as possible. Because that'll really affect their cure research a lot. There's not that many people in Japan infected. Well, a couple of million people, but as a percentage. London Olympics mystery. Mystery surrounds the decision to postpone the London Olympics. Organizers promise... Nah, that's a shame. Sorry, I clicked a little too fast there. Devotion symptom mutated. Oh, automatically. That's an expensive one. That was the one we were looking at. Okay, increase the severity a lot, which does make it harder to cure, although we'll dedicate more people to it. And, uh... Excellent. Transcendence. Overdose of oxytocin and vasopressin forces host into permanent state of worship slash acceptance, treating the neuro neurax worm as an eternal god. We win when all of humans have transcended to believing in us. But, um... We can wait a little bit more on that. We're going to grab Obsession. Severe damage to the orbital cortex triggers OCD, forcing the host to obsess over a specific worm-related task. That sounds like a good idea. We can get a lot extra from Insanity. Corpse feeder. Worms drawn to corpses. Well, we're not killing anyone yet. Let's just go for some extra birds. Just kick in a little bit more transition rate. Um, let's send you there. Russia, you're infected, right? Yeah. But we're trying to hammer away at Japan. Four million people. Good. New obsession. Eradicating parasitic worms. Reports are coming in all over the world of an extreme obsession with eradicating parasitic worms. Oh, no! This backfired. Research begins crowdsourced on a huge scale. That's exactly the opposite of what happened in my last Neurox worm. Uh game so that's kind of interesting i didn't realize it could backfire like that uh let's send some more planes to russia because they seriously have a pretty low percentage thing going on there and yeah once we hit 38 points again we're gonna go for the uh the transcendence assuming it's still 38 it might have gone up a little bit it goes up all costs go up a little bit as you unlock more and more stuff now oh, there's another target plane we're gonna have to deal with uh research doctors all around the world are completely focused on developing a cure for hype oh. Here, let's send you back to the Japan. Oh, you're fully infected. Oh, never mind. I didn't realize that. All right, we're going to start probably on uh, maybe the U.S. Russia's coming along finally. Yeah, we'll focus on the U.S. Lots of people there. Lots of money. Lots of research. Looks like uh, Poland, Baltic States, Ukraine. Mania symptoms mutated automatically. Is that one we want to keep? Manic episodes lead to increased contact with others and inability to focus. Yeah, that sounds fine. And you know what? We're going to pick up Transcendence at this point. Treat the worm as an eternal god. Everyone's already focused on curing me, so I don't think the uh, severity is going to matter. In fact, that's just going to make it harder to cure at this point. If we take a look at the graph... Ooh, I'm wrong. The cure requirement is actually going down for some reason. I don't know why that is. Still, it should increase spreading. Everyone's got to teach the religion of the worm. Keep focusing on the U.S. It's a big non-orange blob. Madagascar is an anarchy. First to fall into anarchy due to hype. No cure research can take place there. Good. Hopefully we'll get a little bit more of that. So if we click on Madagascar, how do we know that they're completely... They worship the Nurax worm. Excellent. And they've got no beakers left. What about Japan, which was leading it? Worships the Nurax worm. There. See, it's because it's 99%. There's no healthy, there's a few people who have died, but everyone who is infected worships me completely. We have to get some stuff going on over here. Whoops. Infected worship hype. People infected with hype are reporting visions of rapture and a glorious new overlord species. Without a cure, life as we know it will be over. Wonderful. Let's, um, you know what? We don't need to do the destructive thing at all. We do need to increase the uh, transmission a little bit. I don't want necessarily any more uh, mutations. Certainly, we're not going to have any corpses. So, we'll just go for... Um, you know what? We can grab the water here because there's a cool upgrade here. Worm eggs gain ability to thrive in unsanitized water. Greatly increased infectivity, especially in poor countries. Eh, that might not be quite as relevant. Um, the ones that are kind of standouts here, Ukraine. It's uh, wet, cold, and rural. There we go. We'll send some more infected people on a plane to the Ukraine over there. And we will try to... We've got double cold already. And we can't do sheep in this game. Hmm, that's actually kind of annoying. 
Still, the cure progress is just not moving. And the infected rate is going up here, at least. Cold, wet, okay. I'm hoping that... I mean, it's not poor, but it's still wet, so this is a water level 3. So hopefully that kicks in. Come on, Ukraine. Fall! Fall to hype! Everyone give in to hype, all the time. There we go. It's going up, and yeah, no one can cure it. It's going to be fine. At this point, we're just waiting for the world to collapse in on itself. There we go. Immaturity symptoms mutated. Ah, there we go. Which is fine. It actually increases infection rate, and there's nothing else we need to do. We'll send a few more planes to Poland, but I think there's only 43,000 healthy people in the world, and the last one is surely following. I don't even know if we need to send a plane anywhere. No healthy people left in the world. Recently became infected with hype, and that means they should start worshipping the worm. Hype enslaves humanity. The whole world worships hype as their god and master. Efforts to cure the plague has ceased, and humanity is entering a dark new future as a slave species. You're welcome, humans. Victory! The whole world worships hype as their god and master. I love the fact that this has a different victory condition than the uh than the others you're not there to kill it you can kill all of humans with the nurax but it's you know certainly more interesting to um to become a god instead only took us 447 days which wasn't bad probably could have done it even faster i mean the cure progress was only 30 percent uh it's pretty easy of course this was on uh, normal difficulty we'll have to try again on like super brutal and see how it goes there one day but uh look we've unlocked a new uh, type of uh gene so go us anyway i hope you enjoyed the short video i will see you guys next time